As I seen here today, the world's coral reefs are experiencing a mass extinction. 50% of the world's coral reefs have died in the last 30 years, and up to 90% may die within the next century. This might not seem like a huge issue to most people, since most people see corals as just an interesting place to visit with colorful fish. But in fact, corals help protect many of our coastlines and natural ecosystems in shallow parts of the ocean, making them essential for our environment. These ecosystems rely on corals for not only the protection of coastlines, but also the shelter for many species of marine wildlife. These organisms likely wouldn't be able to survive without their coral reef home. As a young teen, when I first heard about this problem, I felt like I didn't have much power over a large issue like this. After all, I will not be able to vote for another five years, and it seems like every week there's a new environmental issue that is brought to my attention. For nine years, I've gone to an all-environmental science school that focuses on hands-on and learning and educating the young generations about important environmental issues. Going to an environmental science school for my whole life really made me feel connected with the environment. Whether it was outdoor school or ha hands-on activity, I always had some personal connection with the environment. Ever since my sixth grade ocean aquatics unit and learning about all the hidden and yet to be explored beauty of the ocean, it made me disappointed to know that the people once enjoying these breathtaking places are slowly destroying it. This issue is very personal for me since the coral reef ecosystem is always, isn't always seen as a major problem. I feel like it's crucial for our generation to start acting upon this issue and not waiting for it to get so out of hand we won't make a difference. Growing up, I've always heard stories about my family visiting places like Hawaii and swimming and snorkeling with the fish there. Visiting the coral reefs has always been one of the main things on my bucket list, and it saddens me that I possibly won't be able to experience this in my future. Scientists say that nearly all coral reefs will disappear in the next 20 years. This means that we have only 20 years roughly to start acting upon this issue and using the technology and knowledge to make some real change. We already have all the information in science to help the coral reefs, but as a society, we just have to start using it. The Environmental Protection Agency has already started protecting these corals by implement implementing policies like the Clean Water Act program that protects water qualities in watersheds and coastal zones of coral reef areas. This has done amazing work for protecting the corals that still have a chance, but it isn't solving the root of the problem. Currently, the Trump administration no longer has restrictions on fossil fuel usage and chemical pesticide pollution. Sadly, this act was one of the first major actions to protect the marine ecosystems. It is laws like these that we need to continue to be enforcing, and restricting these beneficial regulations is keeping us from accomplishing anything. If we protect the corals but don't start fixing the cause of the issue, then we aren't going to fix the over problem, overall problem either. It isn't doing any good protecting corals that will later just be killed off since we aren't changing the source of the problem. Right now, there are two main causes of habitat destruction in coral reefs water pollution, and global warming. Even though corals are some of the most protective coastline habitats, they're also the most sensitive to change. The International Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC, fifth assessment reports that estimates that the upper ocean has warmed by 0.09 to 0.13 degrees Celsius per decade over the past 40 years, and it's continued to increase that rate every single year. As our Earth is getting warmer and from excessive fossil fuel burning, our wildlife habitats are feeling the effects. A spike of only 1 to 2 degrees Celsius can cause a whole coral reef habitat to be bleached, causing them to turn white and eventually die. If corals are bleached for prolonged periods of time, they eventually will die. In addition of global warming, another cause of coral damage is pollution. 69% of corals were physically damaged by trash pollution. Physically damaging the corals isn't the only thing that pollution does to affect these corals. Trash dumped into the ocean is also one of the leading causes of coral diseases. Plastic trash can carry pathogens and hard debris that might wound the corals, triggering infection which can be fatal as well. In addition, if, we, if plastic de debris blocks sunlight, it can lead to low oxygen conditions that promote the growth of disease-causing bacteria. 
This results in poor health for the marine wildlife. Pollution harms the overall environment of the corals and the living organisms as well. Plastic takes at least a thousand years to decompose and it's estimated that we are producing over 300 million tons of plastic per year, 50% which is caused from single use purposes. If we switch only a few items out of our everyday lives for a greener alternative, together we can have a massive impact on the health of the coral reefs. After hearing the problems that I have presented, I better you, bet you are wondering how you can help. The biggest way you can have a large impact on preventing the coral reef destruction is to influence change in large companies and the government policies that control them. Of course, there are also small changes in your daily life that you could also do to help this issue as well. One thing an individual, as an individual you can do is influence the government by emailing or calling members of Congress and to vote for people who will stand by policies that are been beneficial for the marine ecosystem, specifically the coral reefs. The representatives of our government have the ability to set up policies to pass laws like the Green New Deal, which is a congressional resolution that lays out a grand plan for tackling climate change problems. Demand change by writing letters, emailing, calling, or just participating in peaceful protesting can make your voice be heard. We have an important election coming up this year, and if you are in voting, if you are of voting age, you can take action today by pledging not to vote for a candidate that doesn't support the Green New Deal. Another amazing thing we have today is social media, and like lots of advocates do on social media, is informing more and more people about issues like these. Another policy that has been set up in the past to help protect the environment is the Clean Air Act, the CAA, which is a comprehensive federal law that regulates air emissions from stationary and mobile sources. The goal with this law is to regulate air pollutants all over the world. Both of these policies took many people in the government to work together to construct these resolutions. As a citizen, supporting an already uh, as a citizen, supporting people who already have an action plan for resolving issues like climate change will have the greatest impact on implementing any change. Another thing you can do to also help this problem is to donate and support groups like the Reef Life Foundation. This fruit foundation helps rebuild and protect the damage of the coral habitats. Every $25 donated to the Reef Life Foundation restores a two square foot area of coral habitats in critical areas of the ocean. By far the easiest thing you could do in your everyday life though is just to replace everyday items with greener alternatives. Even the simplest of change, like switching out a plastic straw for a metal or paper alternative or limiting your household trash can help decrease the root of the problem. Sunscreen is another popular household item that can be deadly for the reefs. Chemical sunscreen has a certain additive that can, when washed into the ocean, can pollute and harm the reefs. Switching your sunscreen from a chemical to a mineral sunscreen is a, is a simple fix to a large problem. I now know I can make a difference, and so can you. The quality of our oceans greatly affects not only the living organisms, but us as well. All it takes is one small change in someone's everyday life to make the environment better. And as a community, we can make a great change.